we want to simplify the complex fraction, and we'll discuss how to simplify the complex fraction using two methods. Let's first review how to simplify the complex fraction using method two. For method two, the first step is to find the least common denominator of the fractions in the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction. So to help us do this, let's write three and one in fraction form with a denominator of one. So on the top, we have three over one plus 12 over t. On the bottom, we'd have one over one minus 16 over t squared. So looking at the fractions on the top and on the bottom, we need to determine the least common denominator. Well, because these two denominators are one, and here we have one factor of t, and here we have two factors of t, the least common denominator must contain two factors of t, which means the least common denominator is t squared. Now that we know the least common denominator, step two is to multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the LCD, which means we're going to multiply the top and the bottom of the complex fraction by t squared. Remember, by multiplying the top and bottom by the same expression, we obtain an equivalent fraction. So on the top, we'd have 3 times t squared plus 12 over t times t squared. On the bottom, we'd have 1 times t squared minus 16 over t squared times t squared. So now on the top, we'd have 3t squared plus, here we can simplify before multiplying, as a fraction, t squared has a denominator of 1 here and here. Notice how there's one common factor of t between the numerator and denominator. So this t simplifies to 1, and t squared simplifies to t to the first, or one factor of t. So we have plus 12t. Now looking at the bottom, we have t squared. And here we have a common factor of t squared. t squared over t squared simplifies to 1. So we just have minus 16. So while we have simplified the complex fraction somewhat, we need to factor the numerator and denominator completely to see if this simplifies further. So the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of the numerator is 3t. If we factor out 3t, we'd be left with the quantity t plus 4. Notice if we distribute, we still have 3t squared plus 12t. In the denominator, we have a difference of squares, and therefore this will factor into two binomial factors. Because the first term is t squared, we have a factor of t here and a factor of t here. And because 4 times 4 equals 16, we have a 4 here and a 4 here. And one of the binomials is a sum, the other is a difference. Notice how in factored form we can see there's a common factor of t plus 4 between the numerator and denominator t plus 4 over t plus 4 simplifies to 1. So the simplified expression is 3t over the quantity t minus 4. And the parentheses around the t minus 4 are optional because we only have one factor in the denominator. However, to enter this from a keyboard, we would need parentheses around the numerator and denominator so that the fraction is entered correctly. So this is how we simplify the complex fraction using method two. Let's go back and simplify it again using method one. The first step in method one is to simplify the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction separately, which means we want to find this sum and find this difference. And we know in order to add fractions, we need a common denominator. So on the top, the common denominator would be t. So we'll multiply the top and bottom of this first fraction by t. Now looking at the bottom, notice how the least common denominator would be t squared. So we'll multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by t squared. So now on top we have 3t over t plus 12 over t. On the bottom we have t squared over t squared minus 16 over t squared. Now we'll go ahead and find the sum and find the difference. So on the top, the common denominator is t, 
and the numerator is 3t plus 12. Now looking at the bottom, the common denominator is t squared, and the numerator is t squared minus 16. Step two of method one is to write the complex fraction as a division problem. So because this fraction bar means division, as a division problem, we have the top fraction divided by the bottom fraction. So we have quantity 3t plus 12 over t divided by the bottom fraction of t squared minus 16 over t squared. And now we're going to write this quotient as a product. Remember, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So as a product, the first fraction stays the same. And then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we have times t squared over t squared minus 16. Before multiplying, though, we want to factor the numerators and denominators so that we can simplify before multiplying. So we can factor out a 3 from the numerator here. We'd have 3 times the quantity t plus 4 all over t times t squared over Again, we have a difference of squares here. We'll have two binomial factors, t and t, four and four. One's a sum, one's a difference. And now before multiplying, we want to simplify out any common factors between the numerators and denominators. So t plus four over t plus four simplifies to one. Here we have a common factor of one t. This t simplifies to one, and the t squared simplifies to t to the first. So now we multiply, we have three times t in the numerator, or three t. In the denominator, we just have one factor of t minus four. So of course, we get the same simplified expression using method one, as well as method two. I hope you found this helpful.